Music for social change. Why can't it work in the U.S.? Before viewing Tokar Iluchar, my knowledge of Venezuela was limited to knowing that the country was rich in oil resources, that the national sport was not soccer, but baseball, and the head of the government was a socialist dictator named Hugo Chavez. I certainly had no idea of the jewel box I was about to open. It's the people that are the richest resource of this nation. You learn a lot about the culture when you experience them dancing, singing, and playing the wonderful music of their heritage. As I got to know them, it was apparent we had much in common musically and professionally. There was always a reason to celebrate, and their generosity I will never forget. Sistema is an after-school activity that is overseen by the music staff and teachers. They meet younger students who are mentored by the older students in units called Nucleus. 240,000 students ranging from the ages of four years through high school make up 280 nuclei throughout Venezuela alone. Each Nucleus may have four or more orchestras and multiple music classes. Raphael was a great host, as he was for ABC's 60-minute piece you just saw. It would be very easy to institute this in the United States, Raphael said. The approach would be unique to the U.S., but the overall concept, music for social change, could be very successful. The key to El Sistema is it is for social change, and music is merely a byproduct, which makes great orchestral music a focal point for social enrichment. Professionals trained in music focus on teaching students to play an orchestral instrument. These students, mentored by enthusiastic older students, are encouraged to play in an appropriate level symphony orchestra. Learning becomes infectious. It is a culture of encouragement and enhances the will to learn. These kids from impoverished circumstances achieve their full potential and learn values that favor their growth. There is a simple concept maintained by El Sistema. An orchestra is first and foremost about togetherness, a place where children learn to listen to each other and to respect one another.
¿Cómo te llamo? Me llamo Alexis Alejandro Álvarez. Alexis started his musical training later than the others, therefore he was very shy and self-conscious. As I worked with him over a period of a few weeks, I saw him come out of his shell to become more confident and a much better trombonist. Buenos días. Buenos días. ¿Cómo te llamas? Eh, Camilo Jiménez es mi nombre. Eh, doy clase, trabajo como instructor del núcleo de los chorros. Camilo is from Colombia. He teaches trombone in Los Charros Nuclei as well as conducts the orchestras. He also studies conducting with Gustavo Dudamel's teacher, who is, of course, Jose Abreu, the founder of El Sistema. <laughs> As you can hear, Carmelo plays trombone very well. His passion is to go back to his native country, Colombia, to develop nuclei to help bring kids out of poverty. He was so appreciative of my suggestions, and later I was able to observe him teach. <laughs> Never would I have ever imagined that Maestro Abreu would visit my class. It was truly an honor. Oh, the lady happens to be the wife of the Vice President of Venezuela. I want to thank everyone here in, in Venezuela for making me feel so welcome. Oh. And every trombonist you see here is a pro. Oh. Díganlo, díganlo, está bien. Es eh, un video, un video. Through education and one man's dream, the society is changing for the better in Venezuela. How does Tokar y Luchar have anything to do with Lower Marion School District? Lower Marion has already begun to use music in serving the community at large. The Lower Marion High School Orchestra has presented Maestro the Lion concerts yearly since 1990 with Maestro's Friends, a 501c3 organization whose mission is to inspire a lifelong love of great orchestral music in young people, Maestro is following in the footsteps of El Sistema. With the discovery of great music, many students are encouraged to learn an instrument. The high school orchestra presents a Maestro the Lion series every year to area 3rd, 4th, and 5th graders. Each concert is accompanied by a picture book which tells the story of the music and provides a framework for each concert. A lesson plan is provided for each book so that the program also fulfills literacy objectives. 
Maestro's Friends extends to reach to these concerts beyond the elementary schools of Lower Marion School District to neighboring school districts, particularly Philadelphia. Maestro's Friends provides busing to and from the Lower Marion High School Auditorium. For the past five years, Dr. Geraldine Henwood has produced material to help classroom teachers and music teachers alike with reading across the curriculum. Working in tandem with Mrs. Eileen Miller, who has produced an interactive audio-visual presentation connecting the picture book and the concert, both have prepared the Philadelphia children for our concerts. Daniel Rubin in the Philadelphia Inquirer stated, Watching the program in action this week, I marveled at the students' engagement, and in that moment one couldn't help but notice that a room full of tiny lamps were aglow. There is no better way to encourage children to enrich their lives than to have student mentor student. Lower Marion High School students come to realize their importance as role models to the younger. By reaching out to the younger, the older students begin to see their role in serving the younger. I'm not really sure who has the most fun, the younger or the older. Whatever the case may be, connections are made and barriers are crossed. We're very proud of this musical outreach. This year, 1,600 students in 10 Philadelphia schools shared the magic of the Lower Marion High School Music Program.